<sighs> Down here in the dungeon with the kids. All right, let's do it. You ready? Let's go. Let's go. I cast Darth Vader. Pretty cool. Pretty heavy. What's up, comic book peeps? You just saw a little clip. Welcome to another episode of Direct Edition. The channel is Fred Hall Direct Edition. Man, you know how we do. I'm just out shopping, so I'm going to just show you around um, some of the stuff that you know I was looking at. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So let's look at some books. All right, let's do it. So as I was looking through the books, one of the books that I wanted to highlight was the steampunk and that was those type of books. Like uh, I'm definitely going to try to start getting into those. But the independent books are a little bit more pricier. But anyway, let's uh, look at some Star Wars stuff, you know, from a galaxy far, far away. Let's do that. Let's look at some Star Wars stuff. Buy or buy not, no try. <laughs> some vintage Star Wars. How much is this die cast? 14? That's not bad. I love these die casts, they're so heavy. 14, that's not bad. <clears throat> really like this. Allow my six fingers into it to video. How much is it? 16. I need that to go with the rest of my wall art. Trust pieces. Excellent. And what would a day out be with the family if I didn't go ahead and barbecue? You know, I'm a huge uh, culinary arts dude. Uh, 
you know, one of my favorite chefs in the whole wide world just um, took his own life, uh, Anthony Bourdain. That was a while ago, probably about uh, three weeks ago. But um, R.I.P. Anthony Bourdain. Uh, but, you know, I love to cook and I love to chef and I definitely love to barbecue. And if you guys are dealing with anything as far as uh, depression or mental health, um, find something to live for. Uh, but anyway, without making it too sad, you know, I had to refuel. So let's refuel. Definitely had to stop and refuel. I have hamburgers and hot dogs grilling on the grill. If you can see, it's very, very hot. Right now it's cooking very, very quickly. But it's all good. And the kids are outside, of course, screaming. Peace. All right, so let's look at some more shopping. You ready? All right, let's shop some more. Little Fred, look, look. This is who's making all this noise. Get out of here. All right, let's do some more shopping. Look at this one. Really cool. What's that? Hmm. Very, very cool. <laughs> Daredevil cover swipe. Daredevil number one cover swipe. Very cool. And of course, you know I have to plug some of my videos, so let's get that plug in early. Uh, you guys ready? Be sure to check out, yeah, be sure, to, well, let's do it. Be sure to check out some of my latest videos. The latest one is The yes. Last Death in the Family. And we also have Lord of War, where I did my contest. You girls and guys be safe out there. Peace. Be sure to check out some of my latest videos. One is Death in the Family. The other is Fred Hall's War Journal. And check out my recent video which is Fred and Charles, why I announced the contest winners. You girls and guys be safe out there. Peace. Okay, let's at least plug one more video. All right, let's do it. Plug one more. Be sure to check out some of my latest videos. One is Graduation Day. The other is Lord of War, where you can enter into my contest. We only have like a week left. And the other is Mad Max Fred and the Road to the Fury Contest. Another one also is the God of the God of Comic Books. You girls and guys be safe out there. Peace. Okay, now we're at one of my favorite part of the videos. Why I should plug my um, buddy. He's right here. My fake Dark Maul from China. So let's get into some of those plugs. And this episode of Direct Edition is brought to you by everybody's favorite, my fake thoughts mall from China. All right, so you know how we do. Let's get back into the video. And this episode of Direct Edition is brought to you by 
my two long receipts, and my fake Darth Maul from China. Okay, let me read off some of the names I have on the list. Uh, check out the latest video of the list. Uh, one is Doomsday Comics. The other is uh, Brian Rainey. I uh, hope you feel better, Brian. The other is Lindsay's Geeked Out Knickknacks. We have a 64-page special. Uh, we have uh, Metarog. And we have uh, Don Van. And we have Ron the Future. I'm going to check my emails one more time during this video to see if we got anything else. Because I know me and Tat was going back and forth. And I kind of remember Tat sending me his information. So let me check again. Give me one second. Yeah, no, we also have tax comments. So, um, you know, the rest of you guys, go ahead and send me your info so I can send it out. I'm going to start sending it out Monday as soon as I get uh, a little extra money. Um, you know, it takes money to send stuff out. So, I'm definitely going to start sending them out Monday. All right, let's do this. So, you know, my latest video was called The List. So... You know, definitely go and check that video out. And as I said before in this uh, video, I'm actually going to start sending out you guys stuff uh, Monday. I'm just hoping for some <clears throat> money to come through Monday. And if not, I'll definitely get paid Friday. So I'll definitely be sending your stuff out. Um, shout out to all you guys that sent me your info. I still got some more people that haven't sent me the info. But it's fine. We'll go ahead and get it moving. Now, your backdrop today is from the, the video the list. That Wonder Woman number 14 uh, by Jenny Prison is probably my favorite uh, Wonder Woman cover right now. Uh, I want to say of all time, but I'll just say it, it is of all time. That, that cover is just absolutely freaking gorgeous. Like, wow. He allowed my sexy fingers to interrupt your video. I want to see how much I paid for it. What I started doing is I started putting what I paid for in the back of... Uh, in the back of the comic books and it looks like it said I paid uh, 225 for it and they have an awesome sale going on right now in second and Charles it's just that you know I, I've just went so uh, they're doing you know if you buy a certain amount of comic books your percentage of the your percentage of uh, what you pay for it goes off so if you buy like five you get up to like 50% so I'm definitely going to go and take advantage of that sale and get you guys, beef up you guys' prize winnings. Just because you win one prize from me doesn't mean that I'm not going to send you more stuff just because I have your address. I'm just a type of dude. So you know how we do our direct edition. Let's get into some comics. So I basically picked this up for the cover. This is uh, Justice Number 10 from uh, 2007. A beautiful Alex Ross cover. And I'm almost thinking about, instead of me being a comic book hoarder, uh, to go ahead and send this out to somebody um, who won the contest. I haven't made up my mind yet, but I definitely want to keep it. But if not, you know, I have a big heart. This Alex Ross cover is absolutely freaking beautiful. The green, and then you have green arrow. And is that a black canary next to him? Yep, that's black canary next to him. So that's Justice uh, number 10. From uh, 2007. Very cool. Might as well say it's a main event. So I basically was on an Alex Ross kick. And uh, Alex Ross is kind of like, to me, he's on the same level as Adam Hughes. Um, this is Justice Society number 17 from 2000. Let's see. From 2008. And it's just a very, very beautiful cover, man. I definitely love that cover. And wow, just awesome. Just very awesome. So let's keep going. I got some more Alex Ross for you. So the third beautiful Alex Ross cover that I bought is uh, Justice Society number 12. This is from uh, March 19th, uh, well, 2000, 2008. And you have some uh, beautiful, beautiful artwork. It almost reminds me of, it. you know what? It almost looks like the giant size X-Men cover swipe, if you really look at the top, and you look at the way they're coming through, uh, I'm not sure if it's a cover swipe, but it definitely looks like the, what I say, giant size X-Men cover, because that's how the X-Men were looking as 
you know, Wolverine, Storm, Colossus, Nightcrawler, them were bursting out the uh, page. I have to ask Alex Ross when I finally meet him one day. <laughs> but anyway, these are the three beautiful covers that I picked up. And you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and send this out to somebody. One of uh, lucky contest winners. Uh, you will be receiving these uh, three. So I'm not going to tell you who it's going to be, but randomly, somebody's going to get these three, which is very cool. So I'm going to give you all three at the same time. I actually was able to pick up uh, doubles of these Miss Marvels. And this is Miss Marvel number 15, Miss Marvel number 30, and Miss Marvel number 14. And the significance of these uh, is because they're Greg Horn covers. And if you guys know, Greg Horn is a beast. I definitely love his artwork. And uh, I just think that the guy is very underrated when it comes to his covers. You know what I'm saying? J. Scott Campbell gets a lot of love. But really, to tell you the truth, I prefer people like uh, Greg Horn, Adam Hughes. I just prefer those type of people, especially Adam Hughes. Speaking of Adam Hughes, I just had to show this cover one more time. This was in a couple of videos back. Uh, this is my latest Adam Hughes acquisition. This is Bob Wire number two. It's just so, just so beautiful, so beautiful. Excuse me, you know, it's summertime and I got the boys, uh, plus the girls. Everybody's at home just chilling uh, during the summer. But like I said, this is my latest Adam Hughes acquisition. And uh, I'm just so glad to have picked up this Bob Wire. Uh, anything Adam Hughes I can get, I'm uh, definitely collect. And definitely, uh, what's his name? Um, Greg Horn. Definitely love his artwork. So anything of Greg Horn I can get, I'm definitely going to get. All right. Let's get into some more comments. See, we got another Adam Hughes right here, Batgirl number one. Just had to show you this straight out of the dungeon because... Just to let you know how much I love Adam Hughes, but definitely want to get all the cover, different color covers of the Batgirl number one. I forget how much I paid for this. I think I paid about $5 for it. It's so a very cool. So we're at the point of the video where you asked me for a Hall Direct Edition, what are you reading right now? And I'm still reading the list. So pretty cool. All right, let's get into, so <laughs> let's get into your main events. You ready? All right, let's go. And for your first main event, I'm very excited to have this book because I've been looking for it for a while. Uh, this is New X-Men 141. This is actually the Terminator cover swipe uh, cover with Bishop. Very cool. Murder at the Mansion, uh, part three of three. Very, very cool, man. I definitely love this cover. See that? See, that's the cover swipe. But you know what? I'm going to do something that's going to make me sad. I'm going to go ahead and put this in uh, one of you guys' contest winnings. So one of you guys will randomly be receiving this cover. Uh, I'll, I'll just look for it again. It's no it's no biggie. I'll find it again. But very cool. New X-Men number 141. Uh, Terminator cover swipe. Very cool. And if you're a Jim Carrey fan, uh, definitely a fan of the movie The Mask, uh, got this, The Mask Strikes Back number one, which is very cool from Dark Horse. Uh, the Mask is very darker in the comic books. And uh, I'm glad to have this. Uh, well, I wasn't saying my collection, but I guess I might as well give this away too. So somebody else will be receiving this main event in your uh, care package from Fred Hall Direct Edition. Uh, yeah, I won't even catalog it. I'll, I'll go ahead and give it away. It's fine. I'll find it again. But very cool, Mask Strikes Back. So I was looking to pick up another uh, Jenny Frizen cover of uh, Wonder Woman. This is Wonder Woman number 26. I think I got this one for uh, maybe like a dollar, dollar uh, twenty-five. I'm not sure. But it goes with uh, my beautiful, you know, Wonder Woman covers. And that's what I'm on the lookout for now. Because like I said, I put Wonder Woman on the back burner, on the back burner in my subscription box in order to pick up some Harley Quinns. So... Very cool. Definitely love it. And uh, yeah, just awesome. So that's, uh, let's, let me give you one more main event. So that's Wonder Woman number 26. And like I said, it goes with my Adam Hueyness and Jenny Frizzon covers. So uh, yeah, let's get to one more main event. 
And your last main event is this beautiful Justice League number one, Secret Files and Origins, where they actually went back and told some of uh, the Justice League members' origins. So, very cool, very like 1996. Let's see what year this is. One year off, yes, yeah, 1997. So, uh, very cool cover, definitely a cool concept to go back and look at the history of the Justice League. And uh, yeah, there you have it. And once again, I'm going to put this in somebody's care package um, as you get my uh, contest winnings. But like I said, I'll send them out Monday. So very cool. All right. So I'm going to see you guys face to face to send you off. You ready for it? All right. Here we go. Here we go. Excuse the boys. And so, once again, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in to another episode of Direct Edition. Uh, the channel is Fred Hall Direct Edition. Uh, remember, words of wisdom, focus on the ones that show you love. On the ones that don't show you love, we're just going to keep on moving without them. I'm good. You girls and guys be safe out there, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.